Hello, Kingdom Kids. A happy Sunday. I hope everybody had a really great week. Um, hope you guys had a great weekend. And I hope we saw some of you today at church. Um, we do have Kingdom Kids every Sunday morning at 11 a.m. over in the worship room. So come join us. We have a good time. Um, get VBS is coming up. July 17th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. It'll be at the church on campus, but we'll also offer a virtual only um, option if you don't want to come to campus. Um, yeah, I think those are all the announcements that we have. So today we are going to learn that God is in control no matter what. So I want you to think about a time where maybe you felt like you were out of control, like you couldn't control the situation. Um, like when you're at an amusement park and you're on a ride, right? You don't control how fast the ride goes, where it stops, when it stops, when it goes. You don't control any of that, right? Well, roller coasters and other amusement park rides sometimes feel out of control, right? But they're still so much fun. So we still go on, right? Well, sometimes our lives can feel out of control too. And that's not so fun. So we're going to see how Paul and Silas trusted God um, to be in control of a situation no matter what. So before we do that, we are going to pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for this lesson. I just ask that you would bless the time that we have together. Bless our lesson. Open our eyes and our ears and our hearts to whatever it is you have to say. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, what are your plans for the rest of the day? Do you have plans? I got plans. I think see, today is Sunday, so I'll probably do a little bit of laundry, hang out with Michael and Wayne. We might have some lunch, watch a movie, just kind of hang out, right? Well, in today's Bible story, Paul and Silas, they had a plan for their day. And their plan was just their normal, everyday plans. And they were going to go to a place that they like to pray. And now, as humans, we usually like to be in control of our plans, right? We usually like to know what we're going to do. But for Silas and Paul, they made a plan, and then things got out of control. And then they got more and more and more out of control as the day went on. So it might feel like when you spin. So if you're at home watching, I want you to spin around in circles until you start to feel dizzy. Okay, and then I want you to sit down. How do you feel right now? Kind of feel like maybe the room's moving a little bit. I don't know. Kind of feels weird, right? Kind of out of control. Well, since you were spinning around in circles, it might seem as if the room is out of control. Well, I didn't spin, so I know the truth. Nothing is really wrong in the room. Everything's fine. Well, at least in my room. I don't know about your room, but in my room, because I didn't spin. Sometimes things kind of feel like we're spinning. They feel out of control. But the really great thing is, is God's in control of all of our situations, and it doesn't matter what the situation is, because God's in control of it. In the Bible, in our story, things got a little bit out of control, or what Paul and Silas felt were out of control. And they met this girl who had a bad spirit in her. Now, there were some people that were using her to make money. She was telling fortunes. She was telling fortunes to people, and she was making money for some people. Well, that wasn't really a nice way to treat somebody, right? That's not really nice. Well, when people are mean to us, it can make us feel out of control, right? Well, the girl kept following Silas and Paul around and she was shouting and um, shouting about them. And now this went on for days and days and days and days. And this was not part of Paul and Silas's plan. And finally, Paul was like, I'm done with this. And Paul called on Jesus' power to get rid of the bad spirit. 
Well, Paul knew that God was going to be in control of the situation no matter what. And God was in control. Silas and Paul's out-of-control adventure, that was just the beginning. It got way more out of control. Now with this bad spirit gone, the people who were making money off the girl, well, they couldn't do that anymore, and they were mad. They wanted the money, so they captured Paul and Silas. And this is what happened next. We'll be in the book of Acts, uh, same book that we've been in for the last month or so. We're going to be in chapter 16, and we're going to start on verse 22. Open your Bibles with me to Acts chapter 16, verse 22. A mob quickly formed against Paul and Silas, and the city officials ordered them stripped and beaten with wood and rocks. They were severely beaten, and then they were thrown into prison. That, doesn't, that sounds pretty painful, right? Yeah. Well, the people hurt Paul and Silas with wooden sticks, and they couldn't control the people beating them, right? They, they couldn't do that. They couldn't control them. So we're going to, when bad and painful things happen, sometimes we feel like we're knocked down, like we're thrown off balance. Not only physically, but emotionally. Our feelings get hurt. But God's in control of that situation. Even when we're hurting, we can trust that he's in control of the situation. Well, things kept getting worse for Paul and Silas. The jailer... The jailer was ordered to make sure they didn't escape. So the jailer put them into the inner dungeon and clamped their feet into the stocks. Now, well, jail clearly wasn't probably in the plans for Saul and si or for Paul and Silas. They didn't plan that. Nope. So if that happened to me, I'd probably be dealing with a lot of different emotions. I'd probably feel a lot of things at once. Scared, mad. Um, I was probably in a lot of pain. You know, just... Maybe I might even feel glad because I was with my friend. But I still would feel worried. But I would be glad that I wasn't alone. I don't know. There's a lot of things that we could be feeling. But even when things feel completely out of control or completely frustrating or like we're trying to juggle a lot of problems and a lot of emotions, well, God's in control of all of that because God's in control no matter what. Have you guys ever been into in a situation where you didn't really want to be in the situation, but you had to be in the situation, but you didn't really want to kind of thing? No, I have. Well, God's always in control of the situation. And when he's in control, even when we feel stuck or trapped, kind of like Paul and Silas after the jailer clamped their their feet into the stocks, which is like a, which is like jail. And they were wearing, it's like wearing heavy chains on your feet. So now we have another out of control thing that's going to happen. Let's see what happens next. Verse 26. Suddenly, there was a massive earthquake, and the prison was shaken to its foundations, and the doors immediately flew open, and the chains of every prisoner fell off. That's kind of scary. An earthquake. Now, they didn't know why there was an earthquake, but they knew that God was in control. And God was in control of that earthquake. And it was his plan to get Silas and Paul out of jail. Now, with all those prisoners freed, things must have seemed really, really out of control. Especially if you were the jailer. Now, they, they probably people running everywhere. So hurting people is kind of hard, right? The jailer was probably trying to herd them back into the jail cells. And there was a lot of activity. And But you know what? God was in control of the whole situation. Just like he's in control of everything. So Acts... 16 27 through 32 tells us how God was in control in this situation 
The jailer woke up to see the prison doors wide open. He assumed the prisoners had escaped, so he drew his sword to kill himself. But Paul shouted to him, Stop! Don't kill yourself! We're all here! What? The jailer called for lights and ran to the dungeon and fell down trembling before Paul and Silas. Then he brought them out and asked, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? They replied, Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved along with everyone in your household. And they shared the word of the Lord with him and all who lived in his household. That's pretty awesome. So because of this, all because of Paul and Silas letting God be in control of the situation, the jailer got saved. Isn't that amazing? So he thought he was going to be in trouble for all the prisoners getting out. And Paul and Silas, they helped him to understand that God's in control no matter what. And he got help. So we can trust God just like Paul and Silas did. So I want you to think back on our story about all the things that seemed out of Paul and Silas's control. All the things that happened. And there were a lot of things that happened. When it seems as if our world is spinning out of control, we can center ourselves on the truth that God's in control no matter what. And sometimes we just need to stop and wait and hold on to the fact that whether we feel it or not, God's in control. So I want you to take a moment and think about that. And then I want you to pray and thank God for being in control. And that's something that we don't have to worry about because God's got us. He's all in control of everything. All right, Kingdom Kids, you have a great rest, rest of your day and a great week, and I will see you on Wednesday, and Miss Amber's going to do the object lesson. Remember, God loves you, and so do we. Bye.